Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Guamzi, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a Team PSD in Photoshop and Cinema 4D today. So let's get right into it. So for this example, I'm gonna be using this 2D logo. It's the alt logo. Um, I currently, well, I I was a team. I was lead designer for them a while back, but now uh, I'm just a designer for them. But actually, as right now, as we speak, I just turned into the lead uh, designer again. So I guess I'm lead designer again. But anyways, let's get right into it. First thing you're going to want to do, go ahead, take your 2D logo, open it up in Photoshop. Now you're going to control and click the layer right here to select your 2d logo now your logo must be 2d to do this because we're gonna go ahead and make a work path so we're gonna go over here to paths click down on this little drop menu right here and make a work path and i usually have the tolerance about a one and if the one isn't working if the psd or the ai is coming out a little funky you could go ahead and go make it at a zero 0.5 tolerance but i like to keep mine at around a one or a two so i think we might go for a two for this logo or i could just keep it at a one there we go one seems fine now next thing we're going to do go ahead file export paths to illustrator and then you're just going to go ahead press ok and pick where you want it to be now I already have the AI, so I'm not gonna do that. So next thing you're gonna wanna do, go ahead, open your Photoshop. And I'm gonna be using one of Wolf's Lightrooms. It's the ABI Lightroom from his uh, 25 days of designing Christmas thing. First thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, file merge objects over here. And I have the AI in my downloads, so I'm just going to go ahead and look for it. Open it up, scales at one, connect splines, centimeters. So really that should be up to there. And as you guys see, it depends what you guys have, how many parts to your logo it has. Mine only has one part, so I'm going to go ahead, go on top of here to extrude nerbs and put the logo inside. And for each path that you have, you're going to have to do this each time. So for example, if I have two, I would just control C, control V, the extrude nerbs, and then drag the other part inside or else it won't be showing up like that. And it will just show up like this. It'll be just showing up like this, the paths you didn't extrude. So I'm gonna go ahead. I usually put this the way that Wolf has his Lightroom. I'm gonna go ahead put it at a 200 because if we go ahead and look at a preview of it, it's nice little thickness. But I think I might put this at a little bit over 200, so around 250. It depends on your logo because even. If your logo is just like this, it, 250, 200 looks great. But if you go ahead and turn it like so and make it go up like that, tilt it a little bit, 200 is not going to look good. So for this, I usually recommend 100 or so. Then it's going to look a lot better. As you can tell, this looks a lot better than how this does with the 200. So I'm going to go ahead and use this version. Uh, now, these have some mats in it. I'm not sure how they look, but I'm going to go ahead and check it out. And I usually put my map mats as a projection. I put it on cubic and then seamless. So I'm just going to go ahead and render this out real quick, see how they look. Um... not sure how I'm feeling about it 
yeah i don't think i'm gonna use these so i'm just gonna go ahead render this out now since this is already a uh, lightroom we're gonna have to go into this i'm not sure what this is called the little settings and then uh press this three spaces go ahead save it to wherever you want I already have it on my desktop you can save it under anything and render it out like that but I already have mine rendered out um so, oh shit why is it doing this so i have my two rendered out over here now we're gonna go ahead drag it into photoshop okay now that we have those rendered out we're gonna go ahead into our photoshop file new and i'm gonna go ahead put this at a thousand width and a thousand height with a 72 resolution and make sure your color profile is picked do not have like no don't color mo manage this document because I'll, everything could come out a lot darker so we're just gonna go ahead press ok make sure your background is black double click your background so it unlocks and first things first drag in your cc's so it's up to you whatever cc's you want to use i'm gonna just gonna go ahead and use these two cc's and now it's time to drag in your renders so there we go i say drag them in twice and you can go ahead delete which one to make sure which one's the 3d so i'm gonna go ahead and name this 3d I'm going to go ahead and name this 2D. Um, so usually you put the 2D on top. And to make the little styles that it has, I'm going to go ahead over here into our effects inner glow. And have this at about a 20, depending how big your logo is. Now you are going to want to resize your logo to make sure it is good. So if you just have something like this where it's it has like a little curve on it go ahead center that i'm just gonna go ahead put this a little bit more up you don't want it to be exactly in the center but you want it to somewhat be in the center so next thing we're gonna do is add our text so i'm gonna put under name and the font that i'm using is helvetica it's a very good font i do recommend it um Next thing we're going to do is just go ahead and come over here on, to inner glow on our 3D layer. Bring this down a little bit more and maybe make our range a little bit less. Now we could have our range at a 50, but you, it's very, it's optional to have this inner glow on the 3D part. I don't think I'm going to use it. Bam. I usually only put it on the 2D. So next thing, we're going to go ahead and make the uh, make our text arch. So you're going to want to select your text. Come over to over here to this T with the little arch thing. And put your style on arc. I usually put mine around 7. So it's an arc, but not that much of an arc. And we're going to go ahead and make our layer style for this. So you're going to come over here to gradient overlay make your scale 100 and make most of your gradient uh black so bring this black down by double clicking and then you go over here to your inner glow and this is where all the magic happens you just go ahead turn up the inner glow till it looks somewhat good like that gives it a nice little effect and now the PSD is pretty much done. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is add your light. So you're gonna wanna make a new layer, grab your brush, make sure it's set to a white, a tone of white. Just put a little click down the middle to you know where it's not gonna be coming over here and it cuts off. So we're gonna wanna resize it for our logo. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and put it on screen. Put our opacity down to around a 48, 49. And we're going to just 
duplicate that, control T it again to transform it, bring it down from the top and size it for our text. And now it gives our text a little bit of a glow and it's looking good now, right? So that's basically how you make a team PSD. If you want to add a backing, I don't really add backings to it, but if you want to add a backing, you can go ahead and do that. There's also another way to insert lights here. You can also make another uh, layer and just go to the top and click your brush on the top. So it has two different lights. You could have this one where it's not gluing up the, anything else, or you could have one that glows up both the text or the logo. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I usually group all of these layers and name them under PSD. And yeah, that's how you make a Team PSD in Cinema 4D in Photoshop. Hope this tutorial helped you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.